Hello everyone and welcome back to Next Space Rebels where I am not wasting any time here. I am going straight into my next orbital attempt and we are going to go with three tanks here. I wasn't able to squeeze a fourth tank. That was too much complexity. We've got uh, about 17 complexity points left and so we need about 14 more. So doing one more challenge is not going to do the trick. Uh, mainly we had to get some extra connectors, some extra structure and the pump but also we needed to make sure that our aerodynamics was fine so we had to add those fins back at the bottom here to bring the center of lift or whatever the stabilization down you'll note that i've put the two tanks top uh, up top and had the one down here instead of the reverse and that's because we want to bring the center of mass as high as possible so that is the setup and let's see what happens It could be that the bicycle wheels will give way with this whole deal. This is quite a lot. Or we might not even have enough thrust. But I think the triple pump will be fine. We might have too much thrust. Oh, it's flopping. Right. That can happen too. Um, uh, let's try that again and launch it a little bit quicker, shall we? Maybe I should have it rest on the engine bells a little bit more. But that'll bring the center of... Okay. Center of uh, mass down, which is I didn't want. Okay, yep, oh, oh, okay, we're going this way now. <laughs> Maybe that'll help, who knows. That should be through max Q right there. Yeah, it is hard to control with all the thrust. Maybe less of a pump, but it's tough because it's easier to put one pump rather than multiple smaller ones. No, this wasn't any good. We need to have a very different trajectory. Uh, let me see how high we get on this. I'm not even separating to the next stage because I know it's no good. Oh, look at that vertical speed. We See, we have more vertical speed and horizontal speed here. That's obviously not good. We need to turn much faster. So I'm going to retry that launch. Uh, quickly launch because once again we want to. And we'll go the same way. Okay, zoom. Oh, it broke apart. Uh, yeah. I think... Hmm. We'll, we'll try one more time. It might be too much, though. Okay, we've got the vertical speed. Oh, it's flopping. Uh, let's move the engine down. That's too embarrassing. Okay, at least we won't flop. Okay, well, at least I think we won't flop. Let's launch. Oh, I wanted to zoom. You know, going to the left seems less likely to break apart, maybe? I don't know. I mean, it seems that way, right? I mean, I don't know. Uh, let's try to the left, who knows. Let me just give this theory a try, but I think our pump is too strong. Yep, okay. Well, we're gonna have to figure out how to fit that... ...that leaf blower pump somehow. We do sort of have a lot of structure here, so that's the good part. Could be the fact that it's so asymmetrical that could be a problem. I don't know. 12 instead of 16, half the fuel flow. But that's what we're looking for in particular, so. We want the reduced fuel flow. And it's only half as heavy. It's actually less, you know, well, except for the complexity thing, two of these would be better than one of those. Anyway, let's try this then. Okay, we'll try going to the right again. Oh, that's more sedate. First time had worked well though. Oh, this way. Uh, that was probably because it was so steep. 
that we got into thinner atmosphere quicker. Okay, looking good at 30 kilometers. Okay, 4 kilometers per second here on this stage. Okay, separation. Okay, I have to remember which arrow is which here now. We just need about 3 kilometers per second from this. I thought we got basically that sort of thing from it before. Oh no, it broke apart! Oh, come on! Why? Oh, and it's showing me the other stage for some reason. Hmm... We're not lower. I don't get it. Well, 4 kilometers per second again. Definitely more vertical speed, so we're thinner. We're in thinner atmosphere here. Um, I've delayed it a little bit, go. Hopefully that'll reduce the stress. No, it still broke up. Gosh darn it. Well, we can make sure that the gimbal is right on the center of thrust. Might help a little bit. Speaking of which, we could do that here too. In theory, we would not want it to be gimbling out of that. You've got 21 complexity left. The reason I want to avoid replacing the bike wheels is because everything else would be heavier. Not that we can't afford the complexity of it. How strong are those PVC pipes? 47. Well, you know, if we just ran a PVC pipe through down here and skip the bike wheel, you know, sort of like that and like that, that might be less. And still strong. Bike wheel was 27. These PVC pipes are 47. So, okay. I mean, I, yeah, I guess we can do this. I really like the bike wheels on principle, though. Can't zoom out anymore. Okay, well, we've made that stronger. That's 67, so that part isn't a problem right now, in theory. But this bike wheel might be. Okay, well, we'll see. We will see. Alright, let's build this. It all depends on what part actually failed, right? Good feeling it knows we're close and is trying to thwart me. Just letting it go along with the prograde vector for now. I want to point it a little bit higher there. Okay, max Q. We're really going high this time, lots of vertical speed. Gonna go sort of flattish here. Okay, second stage. Oh, well, let's hope for the best. Oh, it broke apart again. Well, and we don't get to see what's up with it. Oh man, what? It can't get to high speeds at all? We strengthened it. Okay. Is, is the speed thing not a pressure thing? Because there's no atmosphere. <laughs> there's no atmosphere. Ah. Uh, Okay, fine. I'm gonna replace this with a PVC pipe. This is what you've made me do, game. Here, this is strong, right? That's what you said! It's strong! Super strong, no bike wheels on the upper stage. I guess. I don't know if the 
width of parts has any effect, but let's see. Now this time we got way more vertical speed. We'll go with it. Got less horizontal speed out of it. It breaks apart. I'm not, we're not even accelerating that fast at that point. I've added more robust parts in theory. I'm gonna put the bike wheel back because darn it, these other things aren't helping at all. I yeah, I don't know. I will add more PVC pipes to the opposite side. I don't know. What do I know? Because I can't even see it break apart. Here it is, very solid. PVC pipe here. It's more PVC piping here. Very strong frame for the engine, which we used to have a bike wheel around. All right. See, we have reinforced it now. Please. Off we go again. I mean, considering how little structure there is on the bottom part. <laughs> Which bears a whole lot more stress than the top part. Yep. I don't know what kind of stress calculations they do. Okay. Staging. And we're zoomed in. It broke up and then it switched to this thing. Oh shoot, let's upload a video. People like a good rocket breakup. Complicated. Well, look at all these. T-bone, leaf blower, trident. It's all the leaf blower's fault. I'm just gonna take a look and see if I've missed anything here that could be of use. Except for the ultimate engine, of course. There are all these big parts. But those are probably horrible. There's this wrapped fin. Let's get that. Let's get this wrapped one too. Because we're using that thing. Gas bottle frame, custom barrel, spring frame. Well, they're cheap. Let's see what they look like and how heavy they are. Ladder. Well, yeah, I guess that might work. I wonder what the- I'm, uh, maybe the fuel sack is just scrap though. Okay. Yep, that's our goal. Oh, we better pick up the rocket. Okay, let's see these new things. Stop sign is long, but it's not structurally sound. So, gas model frame is strong, 15 kilograms. Oh, it's not that big. Custom barrel is big, but it's 25 kilograms. And this spring frame, yeah. Now this is 73, which is strong, and 5 kilograms. It does stretch longer than the, than the wheel. It might be good to put down here, actually. If it can cover two wheels, that's good. Uh, but this, we have a odd arrangement here. So we'll probably keep the wheels for that. Maybe the fact that the bottom part is not very structurally sound influenced the top part breaking up. Maybe there's some, I don't know what kind of mechanism they have. So I put a ladder down there. But this is the part that's breaking up. We tried to reinforce it. Got the wrapped fin. So the wrapped fin compared to this fin is just heavier. This wrapped fin segment is way heavier than that. And I don't see any benefit. So the wrapped stuff doesn't work for me. Suddenly full of structural issues. Well, we'll see if at least this ladder I mean the ladder is not even in the right place though. I don't want to toss in our five kilograms up there unless we need to. 
Let's see. I'm very disappointed. I thought I could knock this one out real quick. Maybe we should tone down the leaf blower. Maybe we should just have one of the smaller uh, pumps down there. That's all I can think about is that it's a cumulative stress sort of situation. And the stress is actually coming from the first stage. Okay, a little bit less horizontal speed than previously, but let's go. But technically our fuel flow is less than when we had the two spherical tanks. Keep seeing things fly past. <laughs> Do you see that? We keep seeing stuff that's flying past. I'm not gonna say anything. Look <laughs> at this dire circumstances. Uh, seven kilometers per second. We're too high though. Yeah, if we weren't so high, it'd work out. Okay, so it sort of works. I think we'll try a lighter turbo pump on the first stage. And that does mean that we'll have more drag losses in theory, so not great, but we really do need to be able to turn faster than that. Okay, we got close. Alright, let's replace the leaf blower with just the small pump for stress reduction and see if that works out so that we can improve our trajectory. Okay. Yep, let's do that. We could also lighten things up if it turns out that... Well, I mean, there are many ways to lighten things up. Let's just go. Well, at least we can get off the ground. That is job one. Oh, oh. And now we've done it. <laughs> well, we're not going up as quickly as we did before. Because we didn't don't have that thrust weight ratio thanks to the leaf blower. <laughs> Let's be clear. Leaf blower. But due to all the drag, I don't know if we're gonna get the same horizontal speed. Let's see. That's what we want most of all. Uh that doesn't look great. Let's go, though. Let's see what we can do. Oh 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 oh. Okay, five kilometers per second. Spot on 160 kilometers. Six kilometers per second. I don't know if we'll make it though. Uh, 7.49. We need we need to lighten up somehow. Um, the bicycle wheels. We could use a ladder, right? So that's three times 2.8 kilograms and instead we can use one 5 kilogram part it might not stretch long enough though but even if we replace two that would be better okay so that feed system should make things a bit lighter maybe this will be fine without this part in particular and we can move the PVC pipes to do the structural work I'll save some mass up here. I don't know if it'll be a good thing or not, but it'll save some mass up here. Okay, so we've saved some mass down there. We've saved some mass upstairs as well. I mean, it'd be nice to get that thrust weight ratio that we had before. That would give us a lot of ability to punch through the drag, but we'll go with this for the sake of our upper stage. Okay, launch. 
basically hit the Apoapsis perfect last time. I don't think I'm gonna do it that well this time. Okay, all right, four kilometers per second there, staging. Haven't had to gimbal so far. I'm thinking I might need a little bit more upward momentum here. So tilting slightly upward. Six kilometers per second. Seven kilometers per second. Uh, 7.7. 7. 7.7. 7. 7. And 158 kilometers? No, just 157. Can I just add a fuel tank? Adding a fuel tank means another connector. I wish these connectors... I wish we had a 3 to 1. Somebody suggested going with oxid... Uh, well... We could hook up two oxygen things to one thing, but... We... Yeah. Apparently we can't hook up three different... Three different fuel tanks to the same one. Unless, again, there's something I'm missing over here. Maybe a flamingo can do it. Ladder frame. Well, shoot. Let's see what that does for us. Ladder frame is 16 kilograms. Ah, it's just the same thing. It's just heavier. Oh, well. Ladder was 3 complexity instead of 2. That's one... Uh, the bike wheel was two, so that's one downside it has over the bike wheel. I don't like these extra PVC pipes that we put on. In fact, uh, replacing the bike wheel with a PVC pipe might still be a good idea. Let's go with that. Okay, we have cut out more mass. <laughs> Is it structurally sound? I don't know, but we've cut out more mass, so that's the important part. And we just need a tiny little bit better, so let's try it. Okay, go! I shouldn't turn so quickly, maybe. Because our thrust weight ratio is so much lower. What is it anyway? I haven't even seen the acceleration. It's actually 2 G's already. We should check what it is on the ground. Good way to calibrate things. You know what? I'm gonna say we need to go steeper. Let me retry that. Ooh. Okay, up it goes. And we will be a little bit slower to turn this time. Let me see what we have for acceleration. Oh, it's only 1.2. That's... I don't know how this stuff works, because it sure seems to get high pretty quickly. You know, that uh, horizontal speed gets in the red zone pretty darn quickly, doesn't it? One kilometer per second is where the end of the gauge is. Four Gs. 6 G's and go! Not quite as much horizontal speed as before. This starts out basically the same, about 1.3 G's. Okay, 6 kilometers per second. We probably need to climb a bit more. Ah, uh, not as good. Now that's launch trajectory more than anything else. Okay, uh, let's try it again. Because I think that was my fault. One point, only 11 meters per second squared. I mean, it seems so quick for that. I don't know. Okay, 15 kilometers. Okay, well, we've got a lot more horizontal speed. Not 
much vertical speed though. We're also shallower in the atmosphere. So that's not great. We'll have to pitch up more here. No, I don't think this will survive this. Okay, not like that. Okay, go. This is where we are at, at 16 kilometers for reference. Okay, 4 G's, 44 kilometers. This should be fine as far as vertical speed is concerned. Will it give us enough of a horizontal push is the question. Uh, not great. A 158, 159. Oh, I cut it too tight. Uh, we need just a little bit more. Always just a little bit more. Well, let's upload the video. V-shape somehow. Well, I guess there's a V somewhere. High level. I don't like heat. It's no good. Engine. For using an engine. Well, I sure hope so. Anyway. We've got 15 complexity to work with. That's not enough for an extra spherical fuel tank, unfortunately. Uh, of course, the connector situation would me mess that up anyway. It'd be funny putting this fuel bottle in our connector, but the connector has too much dry mass. Uh, they're 3.1 kilograms. How heavy are these fin parts anyway? 2.1. Well, we've got two of them here, that's 4.2. If we have a bike part here... I mean, I don't think they're helping out the aerodynamics. So, that'll be our structural part there. How's the arrow? Still safe, according to this. So that lightens that up a bit. It's amazing what you can trim out, isn't it? There's not a whole lot more that we can trim out, though. 17 complexity we have available. Gas ball. I wish I knew what these were for. <laughs> In other words, uh, their dry mass is so high, I don't know what benefit they have. There is the add oxidizer option. And the thing about it is the connectors, we could... But we don't have a two fuel plus one oxidizer option, unfortunately. Four kilograms for an oxygen injector. And then it's a six kilogram dry mass. If only we could get an initial leaf blower boost and then cut it afterwards. We could attach the leaf blower just to this tank but we'll need more structure for that we could just have two small pumps that'll give us more of a boost initially and then when they dry out it'll just be this one and we'll have a lower thrust weight ratio so instead of putting the pump here but will that cause too much stress to have the two pumps initially Oh, it'll be all right. Well, I guess we'll find out. The goal is to diminish the drag on us. And the cost is adding more complexity, but also more mass, because these pumps do have mass. The odd little pipe that it wants to zigzag, but anyway. Okay, and so eventually this will be the only tank feeding. That's a little bit bad because our center mass will be lower but hopefully the mass up there will compensate for that okay so that's that plan let's see what happens just trying to eke out a tiny little bit more
Just a tiny little bit more. Okay. Go. Well, it's certainly more vigorous, but that can be to our detriment as well. Okay, that's a lot of vertical speed. We may need to turn more vigorously. But will the second stage break apart is our question now. Ah, we're on the last tank. It's accelerating slower. Less thrust. Way too much vertical speed. Okay, second stage. I just want to see whether it breaks up. We're probably not getting to orbit this time. Whoa. Very dark now because I guess 250 kilometers we don't get the blue anymore? Depends on where the camera is, I suppose. It looks like we're good on structural integrity. Oh, now it's all dark. Ah, uh, no, well, uh, maybe we can use one another camera. Follow camera, fine. Well, obviously way too high, 7.2 kilometers per second, 315 kilometers. So let's turn a little bit faster here. Epic. Well, I guess we'll upload the video. I like to connect skeleton. Nothing for the height. Wow, we got 2,880 new followers for... I don't know what... <laughs> okay, at least the height, height matters. Height matters. Height is important. Okay, no, I need that video still. I mean, the craft file. Maybe they were celebrating having a uh, hundred videos? Have we gotten there yet? No, we're on 97. It'd be funny if I fulfilled the task but didn't actually select the challenge, yeah? Okay, we just need to turn faster. Not that that's trivial, that could produce more stress, but let's see. Whoa, that was a dangerous... that's another dangerous maneuver. Stop that. Still maybe too steep. No, maybe it's alright. Uh, well, still too steep, yeah, but maybe it'll be alright anyway. Getting to four kilometers per second here. And that's always a good number for the first stage. Okay. Okay, second stage. We can basically go flat. We don't need any extra height. Okay, six kilometers per second. We're technically going down right now. Uh, actually, that might be a solution rather than a problem. Because it's only asking us to get to a certain height and a certain speed. And there we go! We got to the height and speed. I have no idea whether we actually got to orbit because well, I mean, we're going so fast horizontally, who, who knows? Uh, it might be a very, very lopsided situation right now. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> um, uncommon tag. I achieved that challenge. Surely I should have gotten better than an uncommon tag. Doesn't that count as orbit? Or at least functionally speaking? We didn't, we didn't even... All we got is hate. All we got is hate. This game. Ultra smart combo. We got fewer fewer views and fewer follows than with the previous video. Where I didn't get to orbit. I just went really high. 
Greetings from Holland. Well, hello. Anyway, uh, okay. Well, that was totally unappreciated. Finish satellite. I am so excited. Please let it be small. 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 <laughs> uh, okay. Well, we'll watch the video next time. I am done. Darn it. I got to potentially orbit depending on how you look at it and that was my goal and with that i'm gonna say thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do press like if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and i'll see you next time